We got to keep the videos going, y'all. So like, share, and comment. I appreciate y'all for pulling up, kicking it with the truest for a minute. Before I burn a couple of backies. We got to talk about the diddler in the room. Sean Combs. PG. So we got breaking news. They got the diddler. So if you're living under a rock, you're aware that there's been plenty of cases open against P. Diddy. Civil suits. Um, I'm sure it gets deeper than that, but just to my knowledge, a lot of civil suits, and, which has been settled, which is not a good sign. There's a lot that's unsettled, but there's a lot that he settled, which I believe brought him to this uh, federal arrest, you know, these last couple days. Um, Diddy! Why'd you do that, Diddy? It breaks my heart to think Mr. Take That was making other people take that. The thing that you did to that young, the thing that you did to that young lady in that hotel hallway, man, I'm trying to think of a justification. I mean, maybe if she took a hundred thousand, maybe, maybe y'all guys would beat her up too. I don't know. But, um, that's just a story. Let's just say that he just went in in her ass for no reason. Diddy, how many asses have you went into? How many? How many parties? How many people did you just keep at the party and told them, I'm going to see you at the next party, but don't leave the room. It may be a little bit, but I'm going to Montego, baby. I'm coming back, baby. Like, who knows? We don't know. There's got to be a reason. There has to be a reason for Mr. Diddy to be going through all these things. Was the Tupac thing you? Was the Biggie you? And then you went to, you know, make the song with Miss Faith Evans and porked her out? Is that your character? I mean, I don't know. It's just anything's up for grabs at this point. Anything's up for grass, man. So it, um, it's definitely a different time to where we see moguls being prosecuted for their actions. The only thing that I disagree with a lot of the times is when there's like 20 years in between certain situations and then um, we see them come back up for like a money grab, but there hasn't been like police reports or anything. That's like the only things that I feel like is kind of sketchy on the other people's part, you know? Not to say it didn't happen, but um, I don't like the fact that we wait so long for something that is so serious because it is absolutely serious. If you're being hurt, speak out immediately. Deal with that person. Don't let them hurt other people. Don't let them continue what they're doing. That would be my only thing that I would have to say to them. But, um, Diddy! Why you do that, Diddy? You had the whole world amongst you. You was a king amongst peasants. But you're also telling people to go get that cheesecake and I feel like one of those cheese cheesecake grabbers they remembered that bro they probably wanted like uh, no you probably wanted like some strawberry cheesecake and they brought you like some chocolate swirl cheesecake or something and you like was like yo go back Go bring me the strawberry cheesecake. And that motherfucker had like an appointment to get to. And you were like, no, nah, I don't give up. Go get the cheesecake. So this is where we're at with it. That person came back and probably, you know, filed a bunch of stuff on you, bro. So the lesson of the day is to maybe not uh, put cheesecake so high on our priority list. Um, The message out of all this, man, is, is really, if, if, 
no, regardless if you're in a situation of uh, any type of power or uh, influence, um, we have to try to use these things for its sole purpose. And I think our sole purpose is helping one another at the end of the day. And us beating each other up in the hotel room or you beating a bit, like that's not showing the next generation how kind, patient, understanding, how much of a role model we are. We're not showing them those things. And, um, you know, we've seen a lot of these uh, poor decisions caught up with brain. Um, of course, um, nothing is set in stone until, you know, the bars clank and the judge says, Did it! So when we get to that point, we'll probably um, um, hear a lot more about the situation. And uh, there may be other people who get dragged into the situation because, you know, like the Epstein thing where there was like a bunch of people on a list. Like we have to think about like the things that we don't know and the people that has been quiet because there's probably a deeper rabbit hole than what we actually know right now. So we will find out. We will see. Diddy. I used to ride Sean John at school, man. I even had some Sean John cologne. You broke my heart. You are a very, 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 very intelligent person when it comes to this music industry. And um, everyone who has any footprints within it has had to take a page out of your book, but just not any pages out that Diddy party. Out them Diddy parties? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what do you feel about this situation? Where do you think the court case is going? What do you think about P. Diddy? What do you think about the people that is around him? Um, how do you think think this is going to impact his children, his family, uh, his legacy. Is the legacy over? Is some of the artists that he's put on, is their legacies over or is it tainted because of the situation? I guess we'll see. PV Truist out. And I'll like you later.